Hello, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're still in Psalm 37. Today we're going to be in verses 18 through 21. 18 through 21 in the Good News version of the Bible, the Good News translation. And it reads, The Lord takes care of those who obey him, and the land will be theirs forever. They will not suffer when times are bad. They will have enough in time of famine, but the wicked will die. And the enemies of the Lord will vanish like wildflowers. They will disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never pay back. But good people are generous with their gifts. Whoa, we got some good stuff today. First of all, the Lord, the Lord takes care when we obey him on a daily basis, on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. When we, those times, when we stumble, when we fall, when we, those times when we don't get it all right, but we get up and we say, Lord, I know I messed up. Forgive me my sin, Lord. And we go on. This is not about being perfect every moment of every day. It's about striving. It's about trying. It's about always looking to be in his presence. It's that those who, the Lord takes care of those who obey him. And it's in the land, that place, the land, that possession, the land will be theirs forever. And it says, they will not suffer when times are bad. Sometimes you look around, and God has a special place for you. When all around you, the world is falling apart, he's got a special place for those who obey him, for those who trust in him, for those who believe in him. He's got a special place. They will have enough. He didn't say you're going to have extra. He said, but when the whole land has famine, when all around seems like they're not quite making it, he'll see to it. Look around, you have enough. Look around, he will provide enough. Look around, he's got somebody coming to make sure that you have enough. When it looks as if all things are coming apart, he has enough for you. And he is enough for you. He said, but the wicked will die. Why? Because they, they only depend on themselves. They don't trust in the Lord. They only depend on what they can see and what they can experience. They don't believe and believe that the Lord can come through in these times because they think that they are their own Lord. He said, but they will die. And the enemies of the Lord will vanish like wildflowers. Wildflowers, and they're going to go away like smoke. Won't even be thought about anymore. He said, the wicked borrow and never pay back. The wicked borrow. The wicked borrow and never pay back. Always be careful of somebody who is borrowing and never paying back. Always be concerned about those persons who are always taking and never giving. He says, and it goes on to finish right here by saying this, but good people. You are generous with their gifts. Good people may not have a lot, but they're generous with whatever, whatever that God gave them. May not have enough, but God gave them a lot because they share what they have. And when we open up our hands, when we open up our hands to those around us, when we open up our hands to those less fortunate, we open up our hands to those in need, then we have a place for God to continue to pour into our lives, to pour into where we are, to pour into who we are, to help us and to raise us up to where he's called us to be. So be generous today. Be generous every day with the gifts that God has given you. Whatever your gift is. We talked about gifts and talents and abilities a couple weeks ago, but let's talk about let, let's go back and visit that again. Your gifts, your talents, your abilities. Let's make sure that we're using those every day to build up the kingdom. Let's give a kind word. Let's give a smile. Let's make sure we give whatever we have and let's do it with joy and with a cheerful heart. And let's give unto the Lord. As with the persons that we are been blessed to give to, are the recipients of it. Let's not worry about them. The God us thank you. But let's give at that person as we give unto the Lord. Today, let's be generous. Because remember, if we're generous, we are doing what God has called us to do. And as long as we're doing that, the, we remember that the wicked are temporary. But those of us who believe that what God gives us and what he's going to bless us with is permanent. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week.